The shoulder has the greatest range of motion of any joint in the body. The size mismatch between the larger humeral head and the smaller and shallow glenoid cavity makes the glenohumeral joint inherently unstable and vulnerable to injury. It relies on support provided by a number of soft tissues. The two primary stabilizers of the glenohumeral joint are the glenohumeral ligaments and the rotator cuff muscles. The glenohumeral ligaments serve as the primary static stabilizers. They include the superior, middle and inferior glenohumeral ligaments, each playing different roles in the stability of the head of the humerus depending on the position and movement of the arm. The rotator cuff muscles serve as the primary dynamic stabilizers. There are four, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis. These are often remembered using the acronym SITS. Supraspinatus is considered by many to be the main muscle for shoulder abduction during the first part of elevation. Beyond 30 degrees, the deltoid muscle becomes increasingly more effective at and responsible for abduction of the arm and becomes the prime mover for this action. Infraspinatus and teres minor are responsible for external rotation. Subscapularis is responsible for internal rotation. Together they embrace the head of the humerus, drawing it against the glenoid. In addition, their tendons blend with the joint capsule, actively increasing its tension. Dysfunction of any of the primary stabilizers can lead to pain, weakness, and instability.